Hello, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can use a sonic wall firewall in an application rule to prevent your network users from uploading or sending files out through a webmail application. Now, for this demonstration, we're going to use Gmail, which is a pretty common uh, email-based application that's seen in many of the business environments. So to begin, let's go ahead and just compose a quick little message. We're going to send it to support at firewalls.com. And we're going to give it just a simple file you asked for. We're going to attach the file. We're going to make it the employee salaries for 2011. As you can see, the file is uploading. And the upload's complete. And here you go. And we send the message off. And now that file has been sent outside the organization using the Gmail web-based application. So now with the Sonic Well, we can prevent our users by doing that by creating an application rule. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how that's done. Inside your console, you want to go to Firewall, then Match Objects. Because the first thing we have to do is tell the Sonic Wall how to identify a user who is sending out or attaching a document through a web-based application. So you're going to select Add New Match Object. For the object name, you can call it whatever you want. In this case, we just called it Attachments. The Match Object Type is going to be HTTP Request Custom Header. Now one of the key parts here for the custom header name is content hyphen disposition. In short, this is just a way of telling a web browser that it can upload a file using the web browser. Match type is going to be a partial match. And for the content, we want to put in file name equals, then select add. Once that's done, go ahead and select OK. So now we've told the Sonic Wall how to identify data that is flowing through the Sonic Wall that is for uploading a file through an HTTP application. Now we need to create our application rule. So under Firewall, App Rules, we want to select Add New Policy. In this policy, you can give it a name, whatever you want. In this case, we just call it Block Email Uploads. Policy type is going to be HTTP Client. And for the address, leave it at any, service, sources any, destination. If you are not running the DPI SSL service on your Sonic Wall, then for the destination service, you want to select HTTP. Now, what this means is without that feature enabled on your sonic wall you're only going to be able to filter emails that are web-based on an http server which isn't very common but it's it's a possibility so i'd strongly recommend that you pick up the ssl dpi service it's a one-time activation license for your sonic wall but it'll allow you then to intercept that ssl traffic or that https traffic for the filtering that we're going to be doing so in this case, we're going to leave it at any. That way we get both HTTP and HTTPS. Match object, we want to select the object we created. In this case, we called it attachment. And the action object, what do we want it to do? Typically, we want it to reset or drop that connection so that it won't upload that file. You want to enable logging, that way it shows up in the log. For the connection side, it's going to be client side. In direction, we want to select basic and we want it to be in both directions. Then select OK. Now that we have the app rule set up, let's go ahead and enable it. And let's go back to our Gmail. Let's go ahead and compose a new message. Let's send it back to support at firewalls again. 
and we want to select attach a file and we want to send the employee salaries and you can see immediately that the attachment failed and this is where the sonic wall has stepped in it's recognized through that match object that we're trying to upload a file via HTTPS in this case and it has blocked it so if we go back over to the sonic wall and go down to log under view log for category select app rules apply filter and you will see right here date timestamp you know alert notifying you that the rule is kicked in that the source and my IP address my username and where I was trying to go with that okay well this concludes the video on using a sonic wall firewall to block email attachments going through a web-based email client. If you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the section below. Have a great day.